CAT 2023, I'm starting for CAT 2023. Now, what should I do for quant? And so, in some senses, quant is the elephant in the room. It's only one third of the CAT paper. But to be honest, RC and uh, VRC and LRDI do not seem to have a syllabus. You can turn up on one day and you can you should be technically able to approach everything in VRC and LRDI. They need incredible amounts of preparation. Uh, I'm not saying ignore VRC and LRDI. They're super crucial. They're a third of the paper each. But the, the amount of stuff to cover to feel confident in, 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 in is higher in quant. So chances are in your preparation phase, you'll spend more time in quant. In the practice phase is going to be equal, the mocks, everything is going to be equal. But in preparing, you can't really approach a question in trigonometry without knowing what sine x means. And so it is super important to do that. So how should one prepare for quant? I want to talk about two things. One is the, uh, how what should be the sequence in terms of style? And then talk about the sequence in terms of topics. In terms of style, learn from fundamentals, learn from first principles. First idea is to learn. Come, don't even worry about CAD. Is my weightage kya, is my take kya aega, ye karunga ta kitna percentage aega. All those are irrelevant. If you're learning averages, you should become good at averages. Learning ratios, you should solve all questions on ratios. How quickly you do, it's also less relevant. Get the fun data. You should know the, the if you're learning geometry, you should know the proof. If you're learning number system, you should know why the test of divisibility by 8 works. You should learn for the love of grabbing onto that idea. Don't sacrifice that, especially because you're starting well ahead of that. So do not sacrifice first principles, book of tricks to crack cat, a bunch of shortcuts to finish this, a Vedic math that can take you to 99th percentile, all bull. Keep all of those aside. Get all the fundas in, become confident. You will, the shortcuts door will open to you. You will create a book of shortcuts for yourself in your head. And if that doesn't happen and you still want to go through shortcuts, then two months before the exam, go through the shortcuts. Now you digest them better. They don't look like random mantras, but something that you can grab. Learn from fundamentals. That is the first thing. The second phase is got to be to, to build speed. To do tons of questions to automate processes. To say, hey, it's a quadratic equation. Some people can quad solve quadratic equation by only neatly splitting the middle term, writing the next step. Writing x minus a into x minus b is 0 and then saying roots are a and b. Some others can look at x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0 and say 3 and 4 are roots. They split it, processed it, internalized it, thought of it as 3 and 4, 3 and 4 are roots. Brilliant. If you do 100 quadratic equations, you can go from being type 1 person to type 2 person. This exam, type 2 people are going to save 10 seconds in each question. That's going to be 5 questions extra. That's the difference between I am Ahmedabad and on a college rank 25. And so that, that speed that you build with automating every single process by doing things over and over again, that your brain can do it without really getting out of bed, super crucial. Third part is rounding it off, which effectively comes from practicing tougher questions and doing a bunch of mocks. That is the, it's a tougher part, but it's not something that we need to worry about when you're beginning your preparation. The third phase is effectively mocks. And that's the Learn from fundas, build your speed and, and automate processes, work with mocks so that you know what your strengths and weaknesses are, which topics you can select questions from, how soon you should dump them, all of those questions. Now, what is the sequence you should do questions in? The topics come in multiple bunches. The first, the most important, mothership is arithmetic. Arithmetic involves topics like percentages and profit and loss, ratios and mixtures, uh, speed, time, distance and races, pipes and systems, work and time. Simple interest, compound interest, little bit of experience in logarithm, little bit of uh, arithmetic progression, geometry progression, some um, averages. These are the topics that come under arithmetic. It's a topic where if you may use x's and y's, but the funda from the topic is more important than solving a quadratic equation. A topic where you don't need tons of theory like number systems or geometry. These are the topics that are intuitively straightforward, that, that a class 7, class 8 kid can do. This constitutes 50% of the paper. More importantly, this is your route to 90th percentile. You do nothing but arithmetic, you can go to 90th percentile, which is enough, usually. Next, what you should add, next come the three, four buckets. One is number theory and allied topics. So number system, combination probability, maybe set theory, throw them in there. It is algebra, which is linear and quadratic equation, inequalities, functions, polynomials, put them in a bag. Geometry and allied, allied topics. Geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry. Of these three buckets, you should add one and then one more and then the final one. Which order you select is in your hand. 
my preferred thing is geometry the geometry trigonometry mensuration coordinate geometry together have a higher share of the question than the other and sometimes frequently people get spooked by algebra and there's too many x's and y's and t's and q's and a's and b's they turned off a little bit so the best returns for time and for, for, for hitting jackpot come from geometry hit that and just digest that thing go to number theory in algebra definitely have arithmetic in the back before you go to or anything else it's super fun to prepare for quant prepare for it by the way prepare for it from first principle uh, don't worry about speed at all speed is something that automatically comes once you've done the back if you're continuously conscious of speed it's going to result in loss of accuracy that's a bigger pain to get out of the system you should never get anything wrong that should be your target you can't say look i'll somehow shoot for 75% accuracy and work you should be like i'm trying to get everything right if i some mistake or something goes wrong that i'll worry about later but i'm not accounting for errors you can't and so keep that in mind uh you got a big smile on your face as you should